Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to my channel and today in this section I will be discussing regarding the HDFS architecture. Now in my previous video I uh, taught you about the uh, Hadoop uh, that is the architecture so in that we had a section called as the HDFS for distributed storage. So in today's session we will be discussing regarding the HDFS architecture. Let's move on to the deeper side of HDFS. What is it? what is it comprised of so to get started this is the hdfs architecture as you can see uh, in the left hand side so here in hdfs there is a hdfs client that is sitting here so this hdfs client manages all the jobs that is submitted to it now uh, this uh, jobs may be in a small text file in your linux or windows operating system so it can be stored for example in a path called as the temp uh, in that temp you have a file.txt now this file.txt uh, might be a massive file of very large size so uh, to break down that it may be divided into two successive jobs like job a as well as job b now job a will be submitted to two nodes that is the data node 1 as well as data node 2 now this is for representation purpose next is for job B of the next part of the file, it may be uh, distributed to data node 1, data node 2 and data node 3. Now why to distribute uh, this uh, big file into two successive jobs and why these jobs are given to two different data nodes. The reason is that for the load balancing purpose, uh, not to uh, give much amount of overhead to the processing server that is for MapReduce. Uh, the HDFS uh, mainly it computes the uh, average size of the files which is contained in it and then it gives for the map reduce to map it accordingly. So in order to reduce the overhead it load balances the job which is given to it. Next as we move down the HDFS client uh, will manage the integration jobs which is running inside it by means of again data nodes data node 1, data node 2, data node 3. So in this, uh, between each of the data nodes, there is a replication mechanism. So I told you uh, in your previous uh, video that the HDFS is a fault tolerant mechanism. Uh, so it has got a much replication in this. So uh, between two data nodes, it will maintain the replication mechanism. So like each of the integration jobs is completed, it will maintain the integrity of another job which is contained in the data node. So now let us move on to the three main parts of the HDFS. That is first you have the name node that is the NN. Next you have the data node. Next is the secondary name node that is the SNN. Now what is name node? Uh, as the name suggests, name node gives a namespace for the uh, file space in the memory, it gives a particular namespace in Hadoop uh, ecosystem. Next, it maintains the inode information of the uh, files which are there in the memory. Now, inode is a node uh, that is contained uniquely in one particular uh, file system. For example, if A is a node, then it has one uh, I node information. That is, it has its meta information, means when it is created, what is its file size, its format. So all those things are contained in the inode. Next, uh, it maps this inode to the list of blocks as well as to the location. Means uh, in the memory address, it will uh, lock all the uh, address of the uh, blocks of the memory or the chunks of bytes which are there. So it maps them to the list of blocks. Next, it takes care of the authentication as well as the authorization. Means who has to access, who has the read-write access and for security purpose it does the authorization as well and it creates the checkpoints and locks as the namespace changes. Now whenever the uh, namespace changes after a particular certain period of time interval it will uh, create a new particular log inside uh, one separate file so as to uh, contribute to the much of the traffic into those file systems. So thereby it creates a checkpoint in each of the file systems. Next, uh, moving on to the data node that is the DN. So data node consists of the most of the data which are contained in the HDFS. So 
all these kinds of data are managed by the data nodes that is the dn so this data node handles the block storage on multiple levels and maintains the block integrity means uh, along the blocks it will uh, store all the information or all the data uh, manually and evenly and also it maintains the block integrity means that if one uh, volume of data uh, is contained with some particular uh, means a high level or secure system then it will not be uh, known to another block means that data is not vulnerable next it periodically checks or for the heartbeat and it blocks the report to uh, name node means it periodically sends the heartbeat means in case of any failure or any traffic congestion occurs within the file then it reports all those things to the name node by sending a block report means a block has been occurred at this particular flow uh, while the information is being transferred next is the secondary name node so uh, the secondary name node is can be called as a stepney to the name node so it consists or it works in a similar fashion of the name node that is it is responsible for performing the periodic checkpoints means uh, like how the name node uh, creates the checkpoints and logs the namespace changes uh, similarly the secondary name node also uh, creates the checkpoints next uh, the most important thing of secondary name node in hdfs architecture is that whenever uh, the name node or the name node is more uh, vulnerable to failure so if any of at any point of time the name node fails then the secondary name node comes into picture and it performs the action like it can restart any of the name node by its created checkpoint means uh, you have a checkpoint created in name node as well as you have a checkpoint created in secondary name node so whenever any of the uh, name node fails so it has a copy of its checkpoint and then restarts it uh, for the entire process to begin with so this is the overall hdfs architecture in detail in my next video i'll discuss regarding the map reduce architecture so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this